Hey guys. Hello everyone, welcome to BCTV, I'm Eddie. And I'm Noah. Let's get started, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Ah, hello again. It's me, Reagan. And you came in just in time. I was reading to my son, Cooper, another bedtime story, of which that reminds me. I'm going to read to you another story. Except for this time, it's a bit different compared to the last one. This time, it's about a man who learns a very valuable lesson about cheating. There was a man named Johnny England. Now Johnny, he wanted to join the Knights Guild. But when he tried to enter the guild, they rejected him, saying he wasn't worthy. He tried so hard to figure out why he wasn't worthy of being a knight. Then, that's when a mysterious wizard approached him and asked him what was wrong. He said that he wasn't able to get into the guild. So the wizard suggested a potion. So as the warriors talked, Johnny decided to put the old man's words to test. Johnny then approached the knights, looking completely different. But the knights knew that he cheated, and it's not the knight way. Johnny learned cheating is wrong. The end. I hope that this story has encouraged you to make better choices as well. Well, it's bedtime for this guy. We'll see you later. So it's January 31st, and you know what that means. The Super Bowl is this weekend. We have Ian asking students who they think is going to win the Super Bowl. This Sunday is Super Bowl Sunday, so uh, let's go see what people have to say about that. Do you have any predictions for Super Bowl Sunday? Um, not really. I think 49ers are going to win for sure. Do you have any predictions for this Sunday's Super Bowl? Kansas City. Kansas City. <laughs> All right, we're, we're here with uh, Caleb Wagner. He's going to tell us what he thinks is going to happen this, this Super Bowl Sunday. Um, I think I think Jimmy G is going to throw a few touchdowns and uh, lead the 49ers to a Super Bowl win. Excuse me. Do you have any predictions for this week's Super Bowl Sunday? I don't even know who's playing. <laughs> Berkeley. Do you have any Super Bowl for Um, the Chiefs are going to win. Why? I don't know, they're the underdog. Are there any Super Bowl predictions? I don't even know who's in the Super Bowl. Well, you heard it here first, folks. Super Bowl Sunday. Will it be a true underdog fairy tale story? Or will the 49ers just absolutely destroy Kansas City and they'll go crying home to their mamas? Who knows? We'll tune in next time. That's it. That's my live report. So now, who do you think will win? Kansas City, of course. They've been on fire. Nice. All right. While we're on the subject of sports, we should go to Xander and Kaysen with sports. I'm Kaysen. I'm Xander. Earlier this week, Centennial High School men's basketball blew out Simron 65 to 49. This a few days ago, Centennial lost a nail biter to Bonanza 60 to 63. Uh, flag football's had a pretty good season as they have won majority of their games. 
Thank you, Kaysen and Xander. Sadie's is next week, and we have Matt Imhoff on the scene. I'm Matt from BCTV News, and today we're finding out if kids are going to Sadie's. Now, Sadie's, a week from tomorrow, next Saturday, February the 8th, Girls' Choice Dance. Let's find out if kids are going. Matt, and I'm here with... Hallie Roberts. And now, Hallie, are you going to Sadie's? Yes, I am. Who are you going to Sadie's with? Drew. Who is who's Drew? He goes to a different school. <laughs> I'm here with... Ajay. Now, Ajay, are you, are you going to Sadie's? Yes, I am. Who are you going with? Uh, she, she goes to another school. <laughs> And what's her name? Uh, Brinkley. <laughs> You're going to say he's a Brinkley who goes to another school. What school does she go to? Uh, <laughs> another school. Okay. I'm here with Toby Brewster and Chandler Bowen. And uh, Toby first. Who, who are you going to say he's with? Um, girl named Hannah Randolph. Who are you going to say he's with, Chandler? I thought. Um, Hannah Randolph. That's that's awkward. Man, did she ask you? How did she ask you? Um, so she uh she came up to my porch, she dropped a little poster and a, some nice candy and she said, Do you want to go to Sadie's with me? And I said, Sure. And how did she ask ask you? Well, uh it's more of like a... Anyway, so Toby going with Hannah and Chandler is dateless for I'm joined by Caleb and and you got are you guys going to Sadie's? Yeah, uh, I think I am, yeah. Why do you think? Cuz I haven't been asked yet. <laughs> who who do you think might ask you? Uh I think this girl named Reagan Bodner might, but I'm not really sure yet. This girl. Now Reagan is she watching at home or uh I think she has stats with me, so she'll probably be watching this with me at the same time, yeah. Oh, eh? <laughs> All right. Uh, Jay Kennedy, uh who are you going with? Uh Tatum Tatum, sounds like a lucky lady. Tell, tell me a little bit about her. She's a fine girl. <laughs> kind. You heard it here, folks. Kind. Next, we have Haley and Katie with 10 second challenges. Oh, those are so fun. Today we're going to go around asking teachers to do 10 second challenges and maybe a few students will see and then yeah, we'll just see what we can do. I would have been able to do all of those. Really? Oh yeah. Uh, okay. Stay tuned. Again. <laughs> well, it looks like we're running out of time, so it's time to say goodbye, Bulldogs. Have an amazing weekend and stay safe. We're out. We're out. Pressure from Thomas off the edge. Eli Manning stays on his feet, airs it out down the field. It is caught by Tyree. Play clock at five. Pass is intercepted at the goal line by Malcolm Butler. And the Panthers have a third and ten. Here comes pressure, and they've gotten to him. The ball is out in the end zone, and it's recovered by Malik Jackson for the touchdown. Jim Harbaugh, that is. And this could be a run back from nine deep for Jacoby Jones. And look at him go. Jones is 